Hey guys, Gerald, GP Fragrance, hope you guys are doing well. Today I'll be talking about this fragrance here from Dolce & Gabbana and it's called Light Blue Forever Pearl. Alright, so before we talk about this fragrance, let's check out the presentation real quick. So there you go. It has a um, velvet feeling to it. Very nice. It is very sleek, right? It has a DNG on the top and um, in the front. 100 ml EDP concentration, your ingredients, and um, your barcode. All right? That's it with the box. It's not really, um, it's okay. It's okay. It's not too bad. It is, I've seen worse. Um, <clears throat> here's the bottle itself. As you can see, there's um there's a ding to it or a damage. Look at that, it's a big one. I've been wearing it three to four days, so I know what it is and I know how it performs. Um <clears throat> it's a woody aquatic fragrance for men, right? It's um hundred uh, hundred and thirty dollars for hundred ml. Batch code of this fragrance here, it's um eleven zero five EM. All right, it was there. I just want to show you guys real quick. Um, top notes, grapefruit, bergamot, and on the mid, you'll get the ozonic notes and violet leaf, and on the base, you'll get the vetiver, musk, and patchouli. All right, for me, this one here opens up a blast of grapefruit and bergamot, right? That's it. Well, like, you get a little bit on the mid of ozonic notes, on the mid to the dry down but for me it's a grapefruit and bergamot that's like you know those are the main player it's suited for the high high summer heat guys it's massive feeling fragrance it is easy to wear if you like fresh and clean or you know like ozonic notes you're gonna love this one if you like the original although the although this one has a little bit of original DNA to it um, the only thing I don't like the original though because it's so common and I'm just trying to be like different at least a little bit not not a big different but at least a little bit hope you guys understand that um, <clears throat> I'm not really a big fan of the original because for me it is so common even my body it was like ah light blue those are the, the best one and I was like I'm trying to avoid it you know because I don't want to be um, you know to have the same scent as him so I just want to be different so that's my advice to you guys <clears throat> try not to you know wear the same fragrance if you go to work you know it doesn't it doesn't do anything for me if you if we're both just the same scent right so at least you can wear it any time in a day or different if he's wearing that you wear this you know what I mean it doesn't have to be just both the same all right in the same time right so again let's go back to that um, this one here is massive feeling fragrance it's not a groundbreaking release from Dolce & Gabbana but then for me it is really worth checking out for I know it's probably a little bit stiff for you guys or even for me but then it is worth it it is worth it so far it is good and I'm loving it and my wife loves this so my wife likes fresh and clean fragrance you know easy to wear fragrance not offensive if you could spray it in the room like air freshener she likes it just like mild not too strong but catchy and you know it gets attention all right guys that's my take on light blue forever per home by Dolce & Gabbana for men check this out sample it first I always recommend sample it first because I don't want you guys to spend so much money on the fragrance even me what I'm doing right now that's why you see uh, like when I do video I just stop for a while and then do it again stop for a while because I don't want to end up like thousand fragrance and I can't wear like most of them right so I hope you guys understand that and I don't want you guys to do the same thing even me I have a bunch of them right now that I've been wearing some of them not all of them right as you can see this one's gonna last me at least maybe six months to a year right but because I have a bunch of them so I just don't want you guys to get stuck or 
you know, waste so much money in the fragrance. Just again, buy the fragrance that you love. Not because I said so or the other people said so, but just wear the fragrance that you love and test it first. Try it in your skin, test it first. All right, that's all my advice to you guys. All right, so again, thank you guys for watching and spending time with me today. I'll probably go gonna do another video tomorrow. Again, thank you guys for your support and be safe out there.